before the break, I mentioned a book. I've already received a ton of, hey, Schnitt, what's, what was that book? Uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of the book now. It's a, it's a fictional piece, but uh, the book is written by, by experts and pros that, that understand the business of uh, warfare in space. The book I'm reading now is called Counter Space, fairly new. It's Counter Space, The Next Hours of World War III, and it's by William B. Scott, Michael uh, Kumatos, and William Burns. There's one little, like, I haven't had the book with me, because I get a free second. I love this book. I just want to finish reading this thing. There is, uh, on page 49, I even I flagged it with a little piece of paper, because I wanted to share it on the show at some point. I want to read just a little excerpt here, because it's, it's very fitting. And this works very well with what's happening with Iran, their nuclear program, uh, North Korea, all their, you know, maniacal, lunatic, fringe threats. All right, excerpt from this book, page 49 of Counter Space, The Next Hours of World War III. Book's brand new. The first printing of this thing was just last fall. Listen to this. This is uh, the Iranian leadership speaking here in this, uh, in this quote. Ah! Rafjani exclaimed harshly. Boyer and his swine... Boyer's the president of the United States in this book. Boyer and his swine in Congress are the epitome of America's weakness. They believe only in talk, talk, talk. Cowering under their beds, hoping and praying the holy power of Islam will simply go away. The Satan will not fight. America's moral decay runs deep. The product of stolen Muslim oil and a thirst for pleasure. The resolve that once was America is now nothing but rotting stone and rusting steel. Ouch. Where's the, uh, where's the Muslim comment? Hold on. Uh, what do I do with that? T -t 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 Here it is. This is sent to me by a listener. I, I love our listeners. You can send me. I check my email during the break. If you, call, if you have great stuff, this was actually from an Orlando Sentinel blog. And this was published back on February 16th. NASA Administrator Charles Bolden said Tuesday that President Barack Obama has asked him to find ways to reach out to the dominantly Muslim countries as the White House pushes the space agency to become a tool of international diplomacy. In addition to the nations that most of you usually hear about when you think about the International Space Station, we now have expanded our efforts to reach out to non-traditional partners, said Bolden, speaking to a lecture hall of young engineers. He seems just bizarrely preoccupied in the wrong way with Muslim nations. Oh, one other thing on Obama's NASA visit. Another email I just got that this was posted on Facebook by an old high school friend and college friend. He has been an engineer with NASA since college. He was most recently working on the Constellation Project. This came from Greg. And he apparently has intricate knowledge or intimate knowledge of what's going on at the Space Center. This is the buzz at the Space Center. Insane. No spin. President Obama's team asked NASA to remove the American flag from the Operation and Checkout Building, the ONC, High Bay. NASA got them to agree to move the flag but keep it up. What? Is that... Cool? So let's get on this and find out what the... Why? If this is accurate, the question is, why?